Here's a briefcase with a million dollars even. This all week, no days off. This hard work gon' pay off. I made myself a promise, young. I would never work a day job, put it in the safe. Never know when I'm gon' need that. Came here with my gang, you don't know where your homies at. Gave you a lot of game, you don't owe me back. You say you a boss, gotta show me that. Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through with that. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. I got game sports center. Sports center. Twenty bands for the dinner. For the dinner. Twenty dips in a sprinter. Like, I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Buffing my nails, dog, I'm trying to get buff. Shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff. If the hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gonna see though, I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. They say I got my pop's demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang thriving together. Your boy striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and holding comments. Cause I promise you I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. They ain't cut from the same thread like him. They don't study doing work to get ahead like him. They don't toss and turn in a bed like him. Cause they don't love it. 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 They don't love I've it. I've been laid back so long, I'm trying to get turned. Searching my name, dog, that's how you get hurt. Being likable, I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I don't care how you feel about it. I do what I want to. I used to look up to the people that I'm moving in front of. It's not that crazy anymore. My city used to come up. Bryce and Jack G. James is up next. The rest is up to me. These lames is upset. My peers get upstage. The fans are upset. My city is upcoming. It's People are oppressed and I'm gonna change things. I'm up at Carmichael's trying to get on the same page. I heard about the rapper that you claim was a mainstay. They had a nice run, but they never gonna maintain because they don't love it. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Throwing here to start the drive. Finds his man. There's Jordan Addison. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. 
Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. On play action, they'll throw. Flushed out right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. They get 14 there, first down Vikings. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. First down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he takes it down to 40 with a pick up of four. You know, look at this defense for the Vikings. They're right around the middle of the pack, number 15 in the NFL against the run. And this game for them is all about the line of scrimmage. Winning that battle, using their leverage, being the low man with power to take the offensive linemen and run them back into their own backfield and try and create some large yardage plays. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example of complimentary football for able to catch. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Love from the gun. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And the Vikings are going to take over at their own 40 yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0 0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes 
this one down almost all the way to the 30. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Back to throw here. This is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. The Vikings at 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but now talking with them in the days leading up to this one, doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room. But they do have to start winning some games. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Back to throw. And he's got it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Sports. So just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Here we go, here and the ball go. situated at the nine. Second and goal. They'll look to throw here. This is caught. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll set up to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Alexander Madison, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Lutz good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. 
I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And his throw is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Can they come through on this play and get the series back on track with the completion for enough yardage for a first down? On third down, Love. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. On now is the Packers punter. As he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 31 yards on the punt there. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Second and four. They'll dump this off to Akers. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Vikings! A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Vikings go up by two touchdowns. And this is no good. Missed the PAT, so they fail to connect. And this remains a 13-0 game. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. set to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line and it's been a rocky start for them thus far they had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives so there is optimism because they've improved right turnover you just noted it punt's on the better drive. punt's better than the turnover the punt is better on the second one now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points Here we go. they'll Here break we go. the huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line hut, hut. they'll go again to Jones and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards, first down Packers. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more, because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go Let's in that go. direction. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. ten. Firing quickly out wide is Love. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Now Love. And that will get to be off target and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10. Love. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Take this one home. It's a touchdown. Alonzo looked to add the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Nixon now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Want to. Well, no, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Get, get. Here's Love. And that is incomplete here. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Going back to Love. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And just inside of a minute left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit. But you have to deal with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Back to throw now on first down. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. Well, he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Akers, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. They're going to look to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Call it a gain of a yard at its second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover, started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six, and boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Love now. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. 
Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Love with a pass caught by Musgrave, the tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Love, they go play action now. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. Yeah, they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Throwing. Love. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And his kick here is good. And that'll put us within three scores as it becomes now a 23-point game. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They won more. Here comes an onside kick. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Eluding the pressure right. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Hey. 
So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Shotgun snap for McCarron. This goes out wide for Madison. And he's tapping a yard short of the mark. Just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And quick throw here. That's complete. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Second and ten. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's out to the flat for Akers. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. A much better effort we're seeing from him under center this week versus last week when he threw four picks. He has thrown the one in this game, but you're right. When you cut it down from four the previous week, and we always talk about adjustment. There's Hawkinson in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Vikings look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this one is incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Off the play fake, Love. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of 6. The Packers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 16. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. 
He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Normally, when you see a short gain in the middle of a 3-4 defense, go ahead and pat the nose tackle on the back because he's holding things up and taking on extra blockers, which allows one of the inside linebackers to roam free and make the tackle. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. Well, if this defense can hold them to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal, so they were in four-down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. The kick by Lutz is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing. Trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far. And it's cost them. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Ready. Able to slither by. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline. Because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions. No late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Back to throw. McLaughlin. The Vikings after him. And they get there for the sack. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Looking to throw. McLaughlin. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. A huge play there on the screen pass. 47 yards. And they take a knee. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. And they will take a knee here. Uh, 
Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but all right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Packers pick it up. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they talk about creating turnovers. That's all they preach all game long, all practice long, every meeting. Get the football. That's what they want. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And Watson has it right side. And he goes out right around to 39. So the final seconds have tipped away in this Minnesota victory. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. As this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating. Right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them defend.